squad. What's poppin'? It's your boy Amari. We back with another episode of my newest review series called Reviews from the Six. Reviews from the 206. However you want to put that, go for it. And for today's album review, we got none other than Tory Lanez. You know, everybody's favorite audible tune besides T-Pain. Anyways, I digress. I'm just here to talk about the new Toronto 3. The new Toronto 3. All in all, I enjoyed the project. Some of my favorite tracks include Spicy and Pricey, The Coldest Playboy, Adidas, Do the Most, Stupid Again, Letter to the City 2, and all of those tracks for me just provided a little bit of consistency throughout the project. They provided what I thought was uh, most of the consistent vibes, you know, having more memorable lines, being able to pro promote the story that I thought he was trying to tell throughout this album. Um, to be honest, I didn't have too many tracks that I, you know, explicitly disliked. However, some of my least favorite tracks were definitely D and D and uh, Ten Fucks and uh, Who Needs Love. For me, to be honest, I just felt as though the energy and the vibes behind those tracks didn't really fit with the rest of it. For me, they just sonically did not do it for me. And so, yeah, those were just a few of my least favorite tracks. The production, all in all throughout this album, I thought it wasn't bad. Uh, there were some typical trap style beats, I would say. Um, but besides that, it was there was really nothing really to complain about. And in all honesty, I would have to say that Do The Most was probably one of my favorite beats throughout the track. Um, it was probably one of my favorite songs as a whole throughout the album because it just sounded good to me. And it was one of the songs that I found myself listening to over and over again. Um, I thought the whole album as a whole was mixed pretty well. Nothing explicitly stood out to me. There was nothing that made me say, Ugh, why is that sound there? Or I don't know about that. Um, yeah, so I really, really enjoyed the production throughout this album. One thing I do have to say about the production of this album is the typical Tory Lanez vocals. They were definitely littered throughout the album. And I'm not saying, though, that his vocals are bad or were bad at any point throughout the album. I'm just saying that, in my opinion, these vocals, he could have dialed them down a little bit. There's definitely a different sound between, um, you know, Say It, one of his most iconic songs, and the vocals on this, on this album. It just didn't feel the same, it didn't sound the same, and it just didn't hit me in the same way. All in all, I definitely really enjoyed it. Um, I, like I said, the vocals were not bad. I just wish that he maybe would have done something a little bit different, maybe would have dialed it back a little bit and focused more on his rapping, um, especially coming off of Chicks Tape 5, which was pretty much entirely remixes of R&B singer classics from Take You Down, which he did a remix with alongside Chris Brown to um, I'm Sprung with T-Pain, which he also did a remix to alongside T-Pain. Um, and so I just really wish he kind of would have took a, taken a step away from the singing, even though, um, and even though I know it's a part of him as an artist, I feel like his rapping ability and his raps and his rap lyrics are just, a, just as big of a part of his rap identity as his vocals are. And so I wish you would have focused a little bit more on those, like I said, especially coming off of Chicks Tape 5. Moving on to themes, like I, uh, I mentioned Chicks Tape 5 before, um, the Chicks Tape 5 was, 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 was very interesting. It was his second to last album that would wrap up his, I believe it was either a 5 or a 10 record album, or 10 album record deal that he had. Um, and he was definitely looking to be finished with this deal just so he could get into his own, own sound. Um, I definitely feel like the urgency, the want, the need, and all of that from him in this album, I feel as though him coming out, him coming up 
at the end of it with this project was definitely a capstone. I feel like it was definitely something that he wanted to make sure the world felt was his finale at this point in his career and that he was moving on to the next point in his career. And with the songs that I named that were my favorites, you could definitely feel that because they had a definite consistent theme of look how far I've come from where I've been, you know. And a lot of it might have been behind the guise of, you know, cars, clothes, all that kind of stuff. But there was also some really good potent things in there where he mentioned, I think it was, uh, like I said, I think it was pricey and spicy where one of the most memorable lines for me was he was, he was eating white rice with the ketchup, eating some, some with the yellow, like things like that, that evoke that memory of like when you were quote unquote struggling or, you know, all those memories for other peoples who have been there and who have, you know, been wanting to eat something more, who have been hungry for more. And so I definitely appreciated those thoughtful lyrics and I definitely felt like that theme continued throughout the entire album with the exception of a few tracks, which I named. And Back in Business especially, I feel like was one of those tracks where he wanted to express just how excited he was to be finished with this part of his career, this deal, just so he can embark on his own and do his own thing. I really, really, really enjoyed the fact that, you know, Tori was definitely leaving it all on the table. He was definitely putting what I felt was his heart and soul out there. And it wasn't just, I'm going to do this and I'm going to be done with it. It was, I'm going to be done with it after this. And if I'm going out, I'm going out showing y'all what I am, what, what I want to do or how I want to proceed, what I feel is coming next. Yeah, and that, and that was definitely thoroughly enjoyable for me. All in all, I would probably rate this uh, somewhere around, I don't know, seven, eight for me. While it wasn't on the lyrical ability, the, the, the flow or the, what I thought just the subject matter of somebody like Voice to Five Nine and the allegory, I definitely feel as though Tory Lanez did his thing. Tory Lanez definitely had something to say and he said it in his own way and I can appreciate that. I try not to compare other people's projects, especially because the themes are different. You know, they're talking about different things or at different points in their careers and in their lives, they're dealing with different things. And so I, I really just, as a, as a rule, I try not to compare. I try not to compare directly two different projects, especially one like the Allegory and the New Toronto 3. But I must say that for somebody who is not quote unquote known for his, you know, exception or I don't want to say exceptional, but who isn't known for quite the level of lyricism as somebody like Royce the Five Nine, as Eminem, as, you know, Kendrick, as somebody, as, as all those top tier lyricists, he is, it would be a crime to say that Tory Lanez is not talented. It would be a crime to say that Tory Lanez cannot rap because he can rap. Although it may not be the style of rap everybody enjoys, it may not be the sound that everybody enjoys, he is talented and that surely came through in this project. And to be honest, this has been my favorite Tory Lanez project in quite some time. Um, I, I honestly just think that, I, like I said, Tory Lanez should focus a little bit more on his rapping ability. Um, outside of, you know, his beef with Joyner Lucas, which what really wasn't a beef, more of a show-off contest, which in my opinion he won, but which uh, outside of things like that, outside of, you know, his, his big rap moments, I find myself hard-pressed to find that image of Tory Lanez as a rapper, and I find myself looking at Tory Lanez as more of a singer. Um, and that's not to take anything away from him. I just feel like if you're going to do both, you should show both uh, equally. And I felt like, while he did lean a little bit more on his rapping in this, especially compared to Chicks Tape 5, I feel like it definitely could have used a little bit more of that. All right, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. All right, down here, video's popping up right now, okay? Uh, go check out that uh, that allegory review, reviews from the 206, my first video.
Royster59 the allegory. And then over here, we just got my latest reaction. So go ahead and check that out if you want to go check out my latest reaction. Um, I appreciate y'all for watching this. Much love. I'm out.